We got the clip rod for your money. And we talked about that last time. Any any Hot Wheels collectors don't have any money because they're always buying Hot Wheels. Oh, wow. Everybody. Welcome to another episode of Hot Wheels TV. Today we have the brand new 2020 G case from our friends at AJToys.com. Let's get the trusty fishing knife, open it up, and see what is in this case. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. Uh, let's see. First three cars out. Oh, look at that. 64 Chevy Nova Wagon. That's done in a real nice orange enamel. Really dark tinted windows. Got a chrome base on it. The wheels are blacked out steelies with a gold ring on them. Got the chrome front grill and bumper and chrome rear bumper. Nice. We got the Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. Last case. Wheelie chair in dark blue, candy blue, last case. 2005 Ford Mustang in a dark green, last case. Oh, look at that. The Dune It Up. And that is done in black enamel, nice gloss black. Got a uh, chrome interior on it and a white plastic base. Wheels are blacked out. OR6s on the back and blacked out by spokes on the front. We got the Road Bandit. Got that in the last case. Oh, look at this. Duck and roll. Cute little uh, ducky there, all done up in yellow plastic, little yellow ducky. Got uh, orange engine and orange beak. Put it on my bill. Remember when Daffy Duck used to say that? Oh, just put it on my bill. <laughs> oh, well. This has a blue enamel metal base on it. And the tires are red. And the wheels are chrome by spokes. Another of the HW Warp Speeder. Oh, we got the Honda Monkey 250. That's done in white enamel. Got black plastic handlebars and seat. The rest is uh, all chassis. It's a metal chassis, blue tint metal chassis at that. And the wheels are black three spokes with a chrome rim. We got the Mazda RX-7 in orange enamel. Got that in the last case. The 98 Subaru Impreza in candy red, last case. The Diaper Dragger in pink, last case. We got the 64 Chevy Impala in candy apple red, last case. Oh, there it goes, that's okay. Blister was cracked open anyway. Oh, the Power Rocket. And that is in a really nice dark blue transparent. And that has a chrome interior, chrome engine, and a blue tint metal base. The tires are green plastic and the wheels are yellow painted OH5s. 2017 Nissan GTR R35. And that is done in a white pearl. Got a really dark red, maybe a, looks like a dark maroon stripe on the, the hood, the roof, and the rear. Dark gray interior, very dark smoked windows. The taillights are done up really, really nice. Got a license plate back there. The front end is done up nice. The grill, the headlights. The wheels are dark gray PR5, small ones all the way around and has a dark gray plastic base. The Motosaurus, and that is done in, uh, oh, gonna be Paisley Pink. Got pink pearl on it, so Paisley's gonna definitely snag this one on me. 
Uh, of course, she likes dinosaurs and anything that's pink. Has uh, blue plastic, all the plates up on the top there. The uh, center section is uh, blue plastic also. The base is yellow plastic and the wheels are uh, yellow five spokes. The tires are dark blue plastic. Another of the Mazda RX-7. We got the Octane in a lime green. Got that in another case. Oh, I haven't seen this in a while. The 42 Willys MB Jeep. And that is done in a dark blue enamel. The interior is white engine and uh, front end suspension there, the gas tank is all blue tint metal. The base is a very dark charcoal gray and uh, so is the uh, exhaust. The wheels on the back are white bead locks and the front are white by spokes. Tampos on it are uh, yellow and red and orange. We got another of the Mattel Dream Mobile and I told everybody all about this car in the last case. Check it out. A little history on the uh, the Mattel Dream Mobile. The uh, 87 Dodge D100. Got that in the last case. The Turbone Charged. Last case. The Tool Again in Lavender Plastic Last Case. And the Loco Motorin, which is the uh, Thomas the Train locomotive. Between this case and the last case, uh, the chrome on this has been different. We have a darker, like uh, the black tint chrome, but really not that dark. And then we have the... Um, the nice clear chrome. So keep your eye out for the two different chromes on the Thomas and Friends. Oh, yeah, baby. The heavy hitcher, and that is in chrome. That is beautiful. Oh, man. Love that. You guys know I love records. This truck is beautiful. All done up in chrome. Has black plastic booms on the back. The uh, windows are uh, yellow, transparent. Tampos on this thing, uh, really, really nice. They're uh, dark blue, yellow, and black. The wheels are blacked out steelies on the back and blacked out PR5s on the front. They both have a light blue chrome ring on them and the base is blue tint metal. We have the 2Jet Z. And that is done in a blue enamel. Has uh, yellow, actually has uh, mustard yellow and black and red tampos on it. The interior is a dark gray plastic along with the, uh, the whole center section there. The canopy is yellow transparent. The base is a flat black painted metal base. The wheels are blacked out MC5s, bigger ones in the back, little ones in the front, and they both have a chrome ring on them. Good looking little car. We had the Carbonator, last case. We got the 76 Greenwood Corvette, and that is done in a, looks like aqua. And that is really, you know, I, I love this car, really cool looking car. We had one of these in, in town. I think I showed everybody a picture of it um, maybe a couple years back when this came out. Uh, really nice looking car. The tampos are uh, yellow, orange, and black. Got a big black uh, over white 76 on the front and the side. Interior is dark gray plastic. The wheels are blacked out MC5s, big ones in the back, little ones in the front with a yellow ring on them. And the base is gray plastic. The windows are a very dark smoked and also go along with the headlight covers. The Leinster Prototype. Look at that, new casting. That is really nice. That's from the X-Racers series. 
The body is a dark red transparent, has a lot of chrome on the side there covering the rear tires. Interior is uh, chrome. The window is a dark tint, maybe even smoked. Tampos are uh, white and a mustard yellow. Base is a flat black painted metal base. The wheels are blacked out PR5s and they have a yellow ring around them. Pretty neat looking casting. Another of the Mattel Dream Mobile. We have the Custom 71 L Camino in a metal flake red. Really, really nice. Got some gold and black flames on this baby. Interior is a dark metal flake gray plastic. Got a little bit of uh, uh, black on the, the rocket engines in the back there. The base is chrome. Goes along with the, uh, the grill, the headlights, front bumper, and rear bumper. The uh, wheels are blacked out steelies. Bigger ones in the back, little ones in the front. And they have a gold chrome ring on them. The windows are dark smoked. We have the gold chrome Batmobile. Got that in the last case. Told you guys before, I always watch this gold chrome stuff. Sometimes you have some dark ones. Sometimes you have some light ones, so you have a good swing on those. We have the, oh, look at that. The Ion Motors Thresher. And that is, uh, man, I don't know what that, Challenger? Yeah, it looks like a Challenger maybe. That's pretty cool. It is a dark candy purple. And it has, uh, wow, the, uh, the chrome around the windows is, uh, it is painted. Uh, silver. That looks pretty neat. Has uh, dark tinted windows. Interior looks to be purple, actually. Um, the hood scoop is dark tinted, goes with the windows. Um, tail lights are done up. The base, oh, the base is definitely uh, black tint chrome. And the wheels are, I don't know what these are, look like uh, something off of the uh, off of the classics, it's a uh, blacked out by spoke and they have a chrome ring on them. The back ones are bigger than the front ones. And uh, this is a pretty nifty looking car. I like this. It's uh, from the Fast and Furious Spy Racers. And it's got Netflix up on the top here. So uh, this is pretty neat. This is from the Hot Wheels Screen Team series. And I'm going to have to definitely look into this car a little bit more we have the rv there yet in a new color and that is done in a gray camper on the back and the car on the front is a light blue plastic windows are very very dark on this uh, the base is chrome and the wheels are uh, on the back are the chrome aero discs and the front is chrome thigh spokes Nifty. The Land Rover Series 3 pickup. We got that in the last case. All right, we're down to the middle of the case. Oh, we have the custom Ford Maverick, and that is done in a semi-gloss black. Has, um, wow, tell you what. Tell you what, what. Oh, the, the flames on the front are yellow and red or orange, reddish orange, okay? Uh, that's on the hood. And the flames on the side look to be green and red. Definitely a huge difference in the colors. The interior is uh, orange plastic. Windows are, are lightly tinted. The rear taillights are the same as as the interior, they're orange plastic, and so is the, the grill in the front. The base on this is a metal flake gray plastic. The wheels are dark gray PR5s all the way around, same size. And uh, yeah, this is something that we should definitely be looking out for in these flames. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know if it's gonna, if it's supposed to be that color. I would think they both be the same, yellow and, and red, you know? So keep your eyes out for the color in the tampos on the flames. 
Another of the 64 Chevy Impala Candy Apple Red. We have the Hyper Rocker in white enamel. Got a lot of green and black all over it. Got a black plastic center section. The base is a metal flake gray plastic base. The wheels are white painted beadlocks, big ones all the way around. And the window is a green transparent. We have the 85 Honda City Turbo 2 in red enamel. That is pretty nifty. Got some yellow and white and blue tampos all over this thing. Windows are uh, dark tinted. Interior is gray. Has real tiny white aero discs all the way around it for wheels. And the base is a very dark blue plastic. Cute little car. We have the tool again, again, tool again, again. Another of the Ion Motors Thresher. And we have another of the Loco Motor N. And uh, that looks, we are gonna have to dig out the other one there. Where is it? Alrighty. And uh, yeah, we got a real clear one up here on the top and a dark chrome one on the bottom. So they are out there and here they are. So uh, keep your eyes open for both chromes. Man, we are making a mess over here. We got the chill mill and that we got in another case in the green pearl. We got the 95 Mazda RX-7 in candy blue in the last case. Ooh, we got the bone shaker. Good old Larry Wood and his bone shaker. That is done in a satin maroon and that has got lots and lots of chrome on it. The, uh, the grill, the engine, the exhaust, the, uh, the rear end looks like, the rear gas tank, interior, uh, base on this is black plastic. The wheels are blacked out uh, steelies all the way around, bigger ones in the back, littler ones in the front, and they have a gold chrome ring on them. Another of the chill mill. We have the 96 Porsche Carrera, and that is done in a pearl yellow. Really, really nice. The uh, interior is black, windows are dark, smoked. Headlights are done up, got the uh, Porsche logo on the hood, on the nose there. Tail lights are done up, really, really nice. Wheels are blacked out BBS, and they look really, really nice on here. The base is black plastic. Cool looking little Porsche. We have the 98 Subaru again. Subaru again. We got the clip rod for your money. And we talked about that last time. Any, any Hot Wheels collectors don't have any money because they're always buying Hot Wheels. Oh, wow. 52 Hudson Hornet. Man, that is so cool. Oh, wow. That is done in a semi-gloss dark gray. Has Hudson Hornet all over it, man. It's got... 817 on it. Oh, it. oh, wow. This thing, this is nice. Really, really nice. Has a bright red interior. The windows are clear. The base is chrome. The, 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 the front grill and bumper chrome. The rear bumper is chrome. The wheels are blacked out steelies all the way around with a red chrome ring on them. Boy, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Wow, nice, nice car, like that. We have the Chrysler Pacifica, and that is done in a black metallic, and uh, it has a dark gray interior. The windows are clear on this thing. Uh, the tampos, as you can see, are white and yellow and black. The wheels are the new style off-road five spokes. They're dark gray painted. And the base is black plastic. 
Uh, one thing I did notice, the, uh, the lower valance on this is the same as the interior. It's dark gray. And of course, the uh, spare tires hanging out of the back of the car are dark gray also, like the interior. Getting down there. We got the 89 Porsche 944 Turbo, and that is done in gold metallic. It has very, very dark smoked windows on it. The interior is black. Nice detail on the uh, taillights back there. And of course, on the, uh, the headlights too. The front end's got really, really nice. Got a little Porsche logo on the nose. The wheels are blacked out PR5 with a chrome ring on them, and the base is black plastic. We got the high tech missile, and that is in orange plastic, and that has a light green transparent canopy on it. Chrome center section there. Uh, tampos are uh, all over the place, as you can see. The base is blue tint metal. The tires are green transparent plastic and the wheels are copper or a light gold chrome PR5 all the way around. We have the cool one that is in semi gloss black and uh, the colors, man, they are just all over the place. Look at the colors on this thing, man. The interior and the engine is a very dark black tint chrome. Very, very nice. That goes with the uh, the grill, the windows. Man, that is really, really nice. Has a uh, maroon pearl base on it, plastic base. The wheels uh, on the back are very large chrome thigh spokes and smaller ones on the front. Very nice. We got the 70 Volkswagen Baja Bug in the tuned series. And uh, we got that in the last case. And I gotta tell you, everybody I've been talking to really loves this style tuned cars over the other ones, and uh, and I have to agree. These are really, really cool. They look so much better than the old style tuned cars. Last three cars in the case is the Grupo X24 in yellow plastic. The window is uh, light blue transparent. The interior is blue plastic, which goes along with the whole center section. You can see the uh, the front splitter and uh, looks like a rear splitter there too. The base is flat black metal painted base. The tires are orange plastic and the wheels are black painted aero discs. Tampos are uh, pearl blue and black and orange and white. And uh, that's it for that guy. Last two are the Indy 500 Oval in pink and the Land Rover Series 3 pickup. So there you have it, our 2020 G case from our friends at AJToys.com. We did not get a treasure hunt. We did not get a super treasure hunt, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes. But uh, this is what we got. So really appreciate everybody, all the good comments. We hope, uh, hope that everybody is loving what we're doing from, uh, from what we're reading. Yeah, so keep it up. Please share our videos. Please tell your friends. Please subscribe. And of course, please be kind to one another. So until the next time we see you right here at Hot Wheels TV, you guys take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.